Hello everybody, this is Jordy with Demontron RV here in Spring, Texas. I have this sold 2023 Rockwood Signature Bunkhouse that I'm going to be reviewing and going over. I'm showing you guys a very informative RV video, how everything works and operates. So starting from the front, you know, we have battery disconnect switch, which is in the on position. And when you're not using it, you can turn it to counterclockwise to turn it off. It does come with two batteries. Um, this unit has this gauge, which will tell you if your propane is filled by the color green. You gotta make sure your nozzle is turned open. And then that white pointy part right here is on facing the, the propane tank on. You can have both tanks on if you like. Um, I recommend leaving one on and one off. Here's the front. On the next, after you get the trailer off the truck, um, I would read the auto leveling instructions. It'll tell you everything you need to know, but af after you get the truck unhooked, you just press this on button, auto level, and it'll do it everything itself. So there is a manual override to bring the slides in. Um, there's a tool and you'll see those little holes. Uh, if you put a flashlight, you'll see the tool or you'll see the the fitting that you need to do to manually crank the slides back in and out. Um, here's storage door, everything has magnets. Look at the quality. Um, this unit has one key system. And here again, there goes uh, the, another pocket. There's gonna be another one on the other side for the manual override. Here on the back, you got a rack, self-explanatory to get it down the pins um, over here you got your water connections uh, cable satellite uh, so a black tank flush is up there on the left is a city water connection and on the right is to winterize it or you can just drain everything all the water out of the RV for so you don't have to winterize it there's a light this unit comes standard with the backup camera and uh, yeah here is a fresh water tank holdings and your 50 amp plugins. And uh, I didn't get to show this, uh, but here are your, that white lever right there is for your fresh tank. Um, we have it filled right now. You can pull it to release all the water. And then you have two uh, gray tanks, one further front and then up in the back, you have a gray and your black tank. Alrighty, coming down here to the front. Um, this is going to be your deadbolt key and up top is your master key. I always recommend locking your deadbolt when you're traveling. Um, this unit does come, um, oh, normally there's a code, but there's a key lock number that's going to be um, the exact key for this lock. Um, the red tab, you pull it to the to right to deadbolt on the inside. Um, this is how you use the screen. On the solid steps, uh, very easy to use, uh, very easy to adjust the leg height. There's a metal tab on each side. You just push it in and uh, you can adjust the legs, but it goes in effortlessly. Remember the deadlock and then you can secure it when traveling. Alrighty, on the inside, uh, this is your main control panel. This is the brain of the RV. This is where you can turn on all the lights, turn on your water heater, turn on uh, open your awnings, check the level of your tanks, um, you know, check the battery. You can also check your battery on this panel. So you have the controls to the slide, control to your awnings, and you can control all these functions through this app. Scan the QR code, follow instructions, this has Wi-Fi Ranger, there's the instructions. Same thing, tire pressure monitoring systems, follow instructions on the QR code. So on the thermostat, this unit controls uh, both ACs, your furnace. Um, you can have the option for a fan, a cool high, cool low. Um, I recommend keeping it on auto mode at all times, whether it's uh, cool high or cool low. Um, if you have it on fan mode, it's going to only uh, run constant. So if you want to keep the unit cool, uh, keep it on cool low auto. Um, and then 
it's there's a lag when you press these buttons so when the once it's dull you have to press the buttons uh, to the setting that you want otherwise um, you know it just it'll stall on you it's normal but uh, yeah let's go to the fireplace it's an electric fireplace you can ch change the lights the heat um, the dimness of the fireplace um, so very cool um, keeps you warm in the winter if you don't want to like, turn on your furnace and uh, you have here your Bluetooth stereo um, they have two zones zone A and zone B um, simple touch pad um, system turn it on with a very gentle touch and uh, yeah you also have a controller for the fireplace uh, you know the stereo the TV which are these controllers insignias for the TV um, the small controller that one's for your you know your stereo and then there's one uh, smaller one for the fireplace and some of these functions are a delay so or you just have to you know aim at the right system once you get the hang of it you'll know exactly what I mean but uh, yeah that that uh, ends all of this see I'm trying to I need I haven't got familiar with the stereo system so just play with it um, it'll work fine but yeah, take a look at this uh, beautiful rockwood. Now we'll go over some of the uh, basic stuff, um, like your resetting for your, you know, if you need to reset your power, there is a button there, test on and off. Um, you have your refrigerator. You can change the temp by a simple touchpad. I recommend keeping it on three to, f you know, four or five, or you will freeze some of your food. Um, it, this fridge works super great. And there's also a function in the freezer, so you can change the, the from cold to coldness. Uh, this fridge works great. Um, I, I've had no issues with this RV fridge. Um, here's your Magic Chef microwave, very simple, works like a residential microwave would. Um, here's your, you know, three burner stove um, top. Uh, this is where you're gonna spark, and from there you have to turn both each time. So you spark while you are, you know, getting gas to your desired stove top. And while closing this glass cover, you want to be gentle. You just want to put pressure on the metal part you don't want to press against the glass um, yeah this is a beautiful beautiful bunkhouse um, here is the con uh, fuse box you know if something's not working if you see a red light on the side uh, that to tell you what's wrong here is your carbon monoxide detector if you ever hear a beeping it's due to uh, maybe because of low battery or it smells fumes you, you can reset it by pressing a button here and then you have a smoke detector that you would have to change the battery uh, once it goes out this unit comes fully loaded um, it comes with the dual um, shades day and night shades um, you have emergency exit in the kitchen and I'll show you the next one this unit has dual pane windows so open and closes by twisting and then the ones inside the slide like that one you have to open it up so pinch up um, versus the twisting here you have your recliners you have lumbar support and then you also have a charging station inside these recliners you can't really see well but if you want to charge your phones you can um, here in the bathroom or let's get to the bedroom you have a very spacious bedroom uh, on top of your bed is your griddle um, and some brackets for the outside outside mounting here in this envelope we have your keys mr customer um, and let's go into the bathroom so this has to be locked at all times from traveling um, it has a magnet so it's going to be very secure uh, here um, you have your shower and this is what's called a shower meister you want to keep it on when you just want to keep it in that position when you're not dry camping it's designed to conserve water if you're dry camping if you're not dry camping don't use it it's just rerouting your water to your fresh tank hot water into your fresh tank um, here's your max air vent fan control um, you can set the settings there if you wanted to you know it's a really nice feature you got a magnet on the door um, I recommend closing all the doors when traveling uh, making sure everything is secure uh, before you depart close any slides that's my recommendation again this is a sold unit so I'm making this walkthrough video for my client 
congratulations on this product here's their uh, bunkhouse you know we have all the controllers in the unit already tucked and stored away um, I'm gonna show you how to break down this bed and, and make it into a Oh, well, I actually break down the sofa and make it into a bed. So it's two cushions come out easy. This is a trifold sofa, so it's going to make into a bigger bed um, by easily just pulling up. There's two legs. Uh, you can adjust the height uh, if you want to. There's pins on each end uh, right there. Drop this down, and then you just drop the back part of the sofa down and it makes it into a bed. Um, the bunks are on struts, so it's very secure. Uh, like again, I would like to travel with those down, and then you have a ladder I put underneath the top bunk uh, while transporting. So, yeah, here's this unit. If you have any questions, you know how to contact me, Jordy dot Hernandez at the or two eight one seven one six zero three three eight. Thank you for watching, and have a blessed day.